Hello everyone, welcome back to Drama Fan. It turns out that physician Kwon is Dipo's Queen Yoon's son. They did the same thing to the late crown prince because they wanted the queen to get the official documentation records of the king's life. With that, the queen will be able to know about the death of the late crown prince and they will also get the evidence to prove that someone killed the late crown prince Tae-in. However, if this fact is being revealed, the king's position and the queen dowager's life will be in danger. That's why when the queen asked the king to investigate the death of the late crown prince Tae-in, he rejected that idea. He even burned the prescription. He also did that not only to protect his mother but also to protect the queen and the grand princess. The queen will not stay still and will try to find people who know about the incident when the late crown prince Tae-in died. One of the people is Park Gyeong-woo. Park Gyeong-woo, who knew about this, warned the queen about the person and incident involved that she could not handle. But the queen believes she must know the facts so she can find out the truth about her son's death. Physician Kwon killed the late crown prince also to make the queen curious about how the late crown prince Tae-in died, since both crown princes died from the same cause. Park Gyeong-woo will open the records he wrote during the death of the late crown prince Tae-in. Looks like Park Gyeong-woo made the queen realize that physician Kwon was one of the deepest queen's Yun people. That's why physician Kwon will let Master Toji know that the queen is suspicious of him. With this, Master Toji will approach the queen. This is also what the queen wanted, so she can trap and seek information from them. Because even though they were trying to reveal the death of the late crown prince Tae-in, they had already killed the other crown prince. So they will also be punished. The queen, who has received some information, will discuss it with the crown prince Song Nam. They will find out who killed the late crown prince. However, they have to capture that person. Since they are capable of killing the late crown prince, the king might become their next target. The people might try to kill the king in order to return everything to where it should be. While busy finding out about his son's death, There will be rumors about the crown prince's inability to inherit descendants because of him who left the crown princess on their first night. Since that day, they haven't been spending the night together. This rumor will also be heard by the queen dowager and the queen. To solve this matter, the queen will finally set the date for the two of them. So they will finally spend the night together. They will have a child and will be able to shut down the rumors surrounding them. It was seen that the queen was outside of the palace. It looks like she is looking for poison that killed her son. When she finds the poison, she will run to find the person who made the poison. I believe she will get another clue from the person who made the poison and will be able to find whoever bought the poison. And it will prove that physician Kwon killed the late crown prince. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.